You can use a number line model to help you divide whole numbers by fractions. Brittany wants to walk six miles this week. If she walks three-fourths of a mile each day, how many days will it take for Brittany to walk six miles? Well, the expression we're trying to solve here is we know that she wants to walk a total of six miles. But she's not going to do that all at once. She's going to break that six miles up into groups that are three-fourths of a mile long, because every day she's going to walk three-fourths of a mile. The question we're trying to answer is, how many groups of three-fourths are inside six whole miles? The way I'm going to find this answer is using a number line. I set up my number line to represent the whole amount we have to start with, which in this case is six miles. So my number line goes from zero to six. Each section on this number line represents one mile. So I can see how my number line goes all the way up to six miles. Now the next thing I'm going to do is figure out how many or what size the groups are that I need. In this case, the groups that I'm looking for are three-fourths of a mile long. That means I have to take each whole mile and break it up into fourths so that later on I can group those fourths together into sets of three-fourths. So I'm going to divide up all of these whole miles into fourths. Now it's time for us to answer the question. Six divided by three-fourths means I'm looking for groups that are three-fourths of a mile long. So if I think about that, this first line would be one-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths. So right here, is one day of walking for Brittany. And then I'm going to do the same thing. Here's one-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths. So that would be the second day Brittany walks. One-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths. And I'm going to keep creating groups that are three-fourths of a mile long. And I'm going to keep doing that until I get to the end of my six miles. One, two, three. One, two, three. And each group that I have here counts as a day. So when I look at this, it took me eight groups of three-fourths to get to six whole miles. So in answer to our question, it means it will take Brittany eight days to walk six miles. Let's look at another one. Rachel has eight bags of Skittles to share. She gave each of her friends two-thirds of a bag of Skittles. What we want to know is how many friends got Skittles. If I look at this problem, I know that we're starting with eight whole bags of Skittles, and I'm going to divide them up into groups that are two-thirds of a bag. So my question is, how many groups of two-thirds are in eight holes? Now remember, to use a number line, we need a number line that goes up to the whole number we're trying to divide, so from 0 to 8. And each section on this represents a bag of Skittles. That's my first step. My next step is each of these bags of Skittles needs to be separated into thirds, because I want to eventually group these bags into groups of two-thirds. So I'm going to take the time, break each bag up into thirds, and now I need to figure out how many groups of two-thirds are inside of eight. So again, I'm going to look. This group of two-thirds right here, that means one friend can have Skittles. And then I do two. This is her second friend. This would be her third friend. Her fourth friend. And I'm going to keep grouping these into two-thirds until I get all the way to eight bags of Skittles. So two-thirds, seven, this is my eighth friend, this is my ninth friend. Oops, that didn't change colors. Let's change colors here. My tenth friend, my eleventh friend, and finally the twelfth friend. So eight divided by two-thirds is twelve. There are twelve groups of two-thirds inside eight, which means, in the answer to this question is, 12 friends will get Skittles.